Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today we're doing the update for the MAC Project Pan collab that I'm doing with Jen over at Project Beauty. I will link her channel down below. And just like me, she has a soft spot for MAC. We both like MAC a lot and definitely have an assortment of MAC products that we want to get usage on, hence this project. She does a lot of project panning, she has a really amazing collection, is very talented with her application of makeup, does a lot of fun colorful looks, and she's also doing her own low buy this year. Um, we're both kind of on that type of journey with our collections and getting the most use out of our stuff as we can by rotating stuff, etc. So this is a really quick project. Um, it started, the intro for this was back in November. This is the only true update of this that you will see before the finale, which will be February 7th. Sorry, I had to turn the lights down a little bit. But yeah, um, and even though they are still an amazing brand, obviously a lot of competition has come out. You know, I still have a soft spot in my heart for them and they make, you know, a lot of staple products. They're cult favorites. I really do appreciate that about the brand. And, you know, if you find a favorite color that you like, it's nice to know that they still make a lot of them. Obviously they have their limited editions and all of that. For the most part, they have a solid set of standard products or core products and go-tos that seem to still stick around, which is awesome. So for this project, the goal was to have three to four products and get approximately 50 uses out of all of them. So it, it's not a very strict project. We, you know, we didn't want to make it a stressful thing. So for my eyeshadows in this project, I am kind of combining the usage to total up to 50. They won't exactly be 50 each because there's no way I was going to get 50 uses out of one eyeshadow between November and February. It just was not going to happen. But two shadows, we can kind of make that work in, you know, in a combined kind of way. So let's just get into the products and see where we're at now. MAC highlighter it is called Pearl. It is a cream product light is kind of making it reflect kind of weird. I'll hold it back here. There's quite a dip going in there and as of today, I'm filming this a few days before the 7th, um, I've used this 32 times since starting the project. Um, it's really easy to use this. I use this as a cheek highlight like right here, sometimes as a brow bone highlight. I use it as one or the other or both sometimes depending but yeah I think that's doable and not to mention I had this in even before the project I had it in during a shot my stash so I got additional usage on it if I don't hit 18 uses exactly I'm not gonna be like devastated or anything like that but I think that's doable anyways yeah I'm gonna try to hit that goal by February 4th like that's probably a right right around when I film this so yeah I really enjoyed this product it's a lovely highlighter it, I love the cream texture of it if I wanted to be really blinding, I could probably go there, yeah, and do that. And it's just a really nice product that's held up for a while. I've had this guy for such a long time. I got it at one of those CCO cosmetics company stores, like a lot of MAC products that I have, and I've had it for a while. And being a cream product, it's still going strong, no weird smells. But that said, I don't want it just like hanging out and sitting there not getting used. 32 uses on that, um, 18 more uses to hit my 50 goal, and I think that's very possible by the finale. These are from the Neo Sci-Fi collection. Again, I don't want to blind you guys, so I'm kind of putting it at an angle here. So the first shade is called Femme Fee. This is just a really lovely pearl type of finish. It isn't super yellow. It isn't too white. This has been really easy to use as well. I used Magnetic Fields 14 times since bringing this in in November. So if I can use this about 10 more times and get to 25 uses on this, 25 and 25, that's kind of a reasonable goal. And I think that's definitely doable between now and February. So that's pretty realistic. So I'm in no concern there with this. It is a lovely eyeshadow and easy to use enough. 14 uses. And with Magnetic Fields, which is the taupier gray color that has a little bit of shimmer, you can't really make out too much shimmer here. I mean, there's a little bit of a sheen there. Um, I really enjoy using this a lot as well. I use this actually in a recent video. I can just post a picture of it. <laughs> you can see what it looks like. And it, it makes a really, really nice smoky eye. Sometimes I would even use it as an eyeliner. I mean, obviously using it as an eyeliner is an acceptable way to use an eyeshadow, but I feel like I personally like to get, you know, the full effect if I can by using it on my actual eyelid or crease or whatever. Um, but yeah, I use this shade 14 times as well. So these two broke even. So right now, Combined usage, we're at 28. 
if I use both of these around 10 times each, I think that evens out to about 50. Whenever I'm able to swing with either of these, that equals to 50, I'm happy with that. All right, and the last product in this project I picked was the Oak Lip Pencil here, which is all scuffed up, but still going strong. This, on me, it's like a brownish nude type of color. Um, it doesn't lean very peach at all. It has a little bit more tan in there than, you know, other nudes might have. So this I used 21 times since November. So I pretty much have 30 uses left on this guy, which means I have to use it every day. <laughs> we'll see how it works out. This is the kind of color that I can line my lips every day with it and use any lipstick with it. So at least there's that. And I like filling my lips in with it and you know, putting a gloss on top or something to kind of moisturize because this is a little bit dry by itself. It is a lip liner after all, and it's not a creamy lip liner. I'm determined to get like 30 uses out of this between now and the next update. I think it's doable. I just have to be very mindful of using it every single day. But now that I know that I have to use it every day, I think I'll be okay. We'll, we'll make it work. For fun, I just decided to mark it up on my little piece of paper here. It was up to that green line at the top and now it's actually down to here. So I had to sharpen it maybe like once or twice. And that seems like a lot. That does seem like a lot of usage for using it 21 times. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at here. So I just wanted to do this for fun. I wasn't like trying to finish this off or anything, but I was just curious to see how much it would come down between November and now. So in two months, that's how much I used up. So this has been getting a lot of love and that's the point of this whole project. And I do really enjoy these shorter projects and all of these products are definitely perfect candidates for this. So thank you for tuning in. I, again, like I said, I will link her video down below. Definitely check out her channel. Yeah, that's the update until the finale on February 7th. I will see you then and hopefully before then. Keep watching for all of my other videos. I am on a sort of low buy, but I don't even know if I consider it a low buy anymore because I just don't really buy much makeup these days. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, week, everything, and I will see you again soon. Bye!